you know, interviewing Mo three during that time when back then, and trying to talk to him about that situation. Him and Beasy, I, yeah, I brought both of them. I want to hear about that because you can see it when you go back and start researching. You're in that history. Am you, I? as far as the video where he was at the radio station, he even put it in one of his songs. And I tough for Mo 3 and I tough for Yellow Beasy, but I'm not trying to see these two out here incriminating oh, themselves over something stupid. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Parent, right? I'm single mom. I'm raising my son with the radio. I'm very honest and open about things. So I've had people come to me and tell me, you know, numerous things about how I helped them at 97.9, mm -hmm. just being who I was. But now at 94.5, I'm intentional about it. Mm. I'm not just doing it and y'all catching it. I'm actually throwing it to you. Got so it. I am moving in a different direction and wanting to just be more positive, wanting to, to wanting people to feel the energy that I have and intentionally having that energy to give opposed to just being on the other station and just showing up and making people laugh. I had good times with you at 97.9 as well. Like you made me, you made my day. Yeah, I made, made a lot of people's yeah, day. Yeah, um, I made I, a lot of people's day. I, I got to ask you this too, because I said I was going to ask you about, you know, interviewing Mo3 during that time when back then and trying to talk to him about that situation. Him and Beasy, I, yeah, I brought both of them. I want to hear about that because you can see it when you go back and start researching, you're in that history. Am you, I? As far as the video where he was at the radio station, he even put it in one of his songs. I, I really, I tough for Mo3 and I tough for Yellow Beasy, but I'm not trying to see these two out here incriminating oh, themselves over something stupid. I just want to hear like, what was that for you during that time? What did you see? What did you foresee? What did you try to, you know, implement? Both of them are my friends, right? And not friends like call up, like, what you doing tonight type shit. No, mm -hmm. but black men that I cared about, that I loved because both of them were doing what they loved and making people happy. And my what I was just trying to do was... It, there's something I knew there's something that I knew that they didn't know that there was no reason for this to be happening. Each person was looking at the wrong person. Wow. They were looking at the wrong people coming from the, the first murder mm -hmm. which started it all. Oh yeah. That yeah. was the comedian. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Uh, 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 Roy Lee. Roy Lee. They were looking at it all wrong. What they thought happened didn't happen. Wow. What they thought happened did not happen. So I was trying to get them to pull back because they were, everybody was wrong, period. Wow. And I can't talk about Right, who, right. Who, but we, weren't still, gonna, we weren't gonna. We weren't gonna ask you that, but was wrong. but everybody was, wrong. everybody was wrong. And and how much did it affect you when you seen what the end I was? Because I seen them as like my sons. Correct, correct. You know, yeah, I they're did. younger I seen than them us. As my yeah. son. Yeah, and they're young enough yeah, to be and, your and son. If I have this platform. I have this big platform. Ninety-seven nine. We're number four in the nation, as far as markets, four or five, whatever. So we're big. We're heard. I don't want to see you young cats out here potentially giving away everything that you work hard for so over something and and rest in peace Roy Lee because I don't want to see any you know that that was not a great situation no one should have to die in this shit like that That's right. but y'all y'all are doing y'all are just you're going the wrong direction you're just going the wrong and I, I was just trying to bring peace yeah that, but with oh, yeah. ego because men have ego and with pride and misunderstanding because most disagreements or more most arguments most murders or anything like that is caused by something that could simply be resolved with just a good conversation mm -hmm. and putting that ego to the side right and that's you know what, what I mean and I felt like that's what I was trying to do 
like trying to talk to them in a way like Vita way. Mm -hmm. You know, the funny, love you, care for you, nigga, come on. Like, I love a good drug, I love a drug dealer. I love an aggressive man. I love that life. Mm -hmm. But I also know when it's being destructive and when it's when it's destroying who you are or destroying your brand or potentially destroying the people around you. You know, because the, the energy of both of these men um, push off to the energy of their crew. Exactly. And usually the crew is the ones that make the worst moves. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones. You know, those they, they take the energy of what's going on and they ride with it. Because they don't themselves. have the hits on the radio. They don't have that, the, the label in their ear telling them, you know, hey, yo, calm down. You, you, you got on. You, you up. You up. You know, everybody's up. Everybody's hype. And then those young men go home and they still hype. Wow. They still hype. They still want to kill somebody. Yeah. You go home and you're like, shit. I need to write this rhyme. Or the label just told me I got to show up to Arkansas tomorrow. Oh, now you got other things to think about. But now you got your crew out here only thinking about that shit. Wow. And and I was just trying to let them know that. We got to be leaders. Did you, did you, when you, as far as Raleigh, you, you got to meet him or I no? Roy. How was that as far as his comedy and what do you think he would be today if he'd have kept going? I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but the way the internet a, started. Oh, oh yeah. You well, see what I'm saying? Okay. The internet he, he, started, would definitely, he would definitely be a country the Wayne. Internet, yeah. He, would, right, he was a country it, Wayne. Yeah. He was a country Wayne. And shout out to country Wayne. Yeah. Because he got that new Netflix special. Yeah, Did you watch it? it? Did we, we watched, watched it. Not yet. Not we watched yet. it on the Not first yet. day when it came. Yeah. We big country Wayne supporters. Yeah. So he was definitely on the country Wayne path. For sure. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's big. That's big to say because. And now that he, you know, you look and he has these kids and. A lot of times you hear the people come on and say that they trying to do stuff to help the kids and trying to do stuff to do things for the family because nobody's thinking about Roy Lee's family. You know, he's gone. He, them kids still here. His family. It, it Mo hasn't been long. Too. Mo mm -hmm. three the same way, but Mo, Mo three, three left. Too. He left something behind. You know what? You I don't care what you leave behind. You gone. Yeah, I get it. As a as a child. No, I get that part. As a child. But when you mm -hmm. have no financial, you know, or you don't know the financial stability of these people. Once you take away the main breadwinner from the family, yeah, you see what I'm saying. You know, and I, I, I want to get a T-shirt made that says, "Stop GoFunding me when you die." Damn. Mm. Yeah. Get your shit together now. Fucking life insurance is real. Real. Oh yeah. Life yeah. insurance is real and it's here, and it's for us. Stop GoFunding me when you die. That's hard. That's real truth. That is like we act like we ain't gonna die. Like nigga, everybody gonna die. Every no one's going out alive. Everybody's going to die. Stop GoFunding me. And they when don't even go. have to. And they didn't have to do life insurance on themselves. Their mama, daddy, somebody can All put life it. insurance All on them. All of it. You can get life insurance. You can put life insurance on your whole fucking family. Right. And yourself. Right. Like, stop doing that. That I don't I'm tired of that GoFundMe when you die. Oh, you didn't know you're gonna die? You didn't know you was gonna be gone? That's you think true. it's a lot of it has to do with being illiterate, it, people just not what having we, the what knowledge. We've been taught. Right. Yeah, we we haven't been taught that and, and we're taught to spend our butt on money on bus downs and chargers and hellcats mm -hmm. and, and when, you know and make, make me a song about i mean i know my booty hole's brown but my life insurance <laughs> policy is great too Let me ask you. yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk